Hi, kindergarten. Mrs. Gerber here again for another day of library. We are doing more coding again today. I hope you've been enjoying all of our coding activities so far. This time, we're going to be learning a brand new app, okay? So our app is going to be featuring, it looks like a caterpillar, but he's actually called Codapillar. All right, let's get started. Here is the robot called Codapillar. Now, if you look on its back here, you can see it's got all those direction arrows, just like what we were working with before the past few weeks. And as you snap on each of those, it gives the robot the code to follow. So then it knows if it needs to go forward or if it needs to turn right or turn left. It follows all of that line of code. When you press the start, then it knows what to do. Now let's take a look at the Coda Pillar app. It looks just like this. If it is not on your iPad, you wanna make sure you go into the app that looks like this into self-service to download it. Okay, let's open it up. I see this box popped open here, so I'm going to tap close, the green word down at the bottom, and then agree, the other green word. Now let's head into the gear here. And at the bottom it says background music. We're gonna click off. There we go. Now that loud background music will stop. So that is your settings for the app there. Okay, now let's tap the Coda Pillar to get started. Level one. Let's play. Choose a level and let's play. Who's on that one? Level one. Forward. Now, level one is going to be the easiest Use the forward command to move me forward. I need your help to get to the target. Drag the commands into place. Then, tap the target to go. Oh, our Codapillar just explained it for me. So it's going to be easy level one, and then it will be Drag the commands harder. into forward. Let's drag in forward. 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 Now we have our line of code. Pretty simple. Let's tap the Coda Pillar, see if he makes it to the end. Moving! Woohoo! We found the way! Woohoo! All right, Help me find my forwards. way! Forward! Tap the Coda Pillar. To uh -huh. All, right. All right! We made it! Help forward. build a path for me. Now forward. The forwards will turn the right forward. Here once you light forward. Them down. Let's move. You did it. I'm hungry for the group of four. Now, there's a little activity in between where you get to feed him. So, we need leaves of four. There's four, four. right here. Four! Mmm, yum! Mmm, <laughs> mmm! Nice! And there we go, level two. Level two! Okay, so right. notice how it's starting to get even trickier. There's now the turn block. Use the right turn command to make me turn right. Help build a path for me. Drag the commands to the correct spots along the path. Then, forward, tap the target. Forward, forward, Now, if we went forward here, it would take us right this way. We don't want that. We want to turn over to the star. Right so we turn. we need to put the turn 
And once it turns its body here, now we want it to go straight. We don't want it to turn again over here into the grass. Forward! Okay, let's go. Uh -huh. And our caterpillar got longer too, do you see that? Wow, great job! Okay. I've gotta get to the target. We're gonna stop right there. I think that's a good enough start that you should be able to take it from here. I think once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to go as far as you want through the levels. Now let's take a look at Seesaw. After you are done exploring the Caterpillar app and you can go as far as you want and solve as many levels, head back to Seesaw and look for this image here. And you're going to be doing a video response for me, answering each of these different questions here. Did you like the app? Why or why not? How far did you get? How many levels did you pass? Did you find it easy or hard or why? Or add anything else you want to share with me about the app? So click the green add response button. And right here, video you're going to take. I cannot wait to watch your videos and hear all of your thoughts here, how many levels you passed and whether or not you had fun with this coding app. All right, have fun coding everyone.